X-ray crystallography is one of the most commonly used techniques for determining the three-dimensional structure of proteins in atomic detail. In this technique, crystallized proteins are bombarded with X-ray radiation, which reveals the arrangement of atoms within the molecule. X-rays have a shorter wavelength than most other types of electromagnetic radiation. At approximately one angstrom, the wavelengths of X-rays closely approximate the lengths of covalent bonds, making X-rays particularly well-suited for revealing molecular structures. X-ray crystallography requires three main components, an X-ray source, a protein crystal, and a detector. There are several different types of X-ray sources. One commonly used method for generating X-rays is to accelerate electrons against a copper target using a high voltage potential. This method generates a beam of X-rays with a wavelength of 1.54 angstroms. Once an X-ray source is obtained, the next step is to prepare the protein crystal. Protein crystals are formed from a super-concentrated solution of the target protein. Adding ammonium sulfate, or another salt, to the solution decreases the solubility of the protein, causing the protein molecules to precipitate and settle out of solution. The protein crystal is then mounted and positioned in a precise orientation with respect to the X-ray beam and the detector. Rotating the crystal enables the beam to strike the crystal from many directions. Although most of the narrow X-ray beam passes directly through the protein crystal, a small part of the beam scatters in various directions. Each scattered, or diffracted, beam is made of waves scattered by each atom in the crystal. These diffracted beams can be detected by X-ray film or by a solid-state electronic detector. The scattering pattern provides important information about the protein structure, and the rotational motion of the protein crystal produces an image with a regular array of spots called reflections. The intensities and positions of these reflections make up the basic experimental data of X-ray crystallography. The last step is to apply a mathematical relation called a Fourier transform to the observed data. This mathematical process creates a three-dimensional reconstructed image of the protein known as an electron density map. This map enables researchers to determine the positions of individual atoms within the crystallized molecule.